Hello. Welcome everyone. This video offers the same activity, the same demonstration as the one where we see a battery here. It has been replaced by a regulated power supply, on 4.5 volts. We therefore arrive at the same conclusions. We can check. It is the same activity. And we arrive at the same conclusions, namely that if we measure at the terminals of a set, here, 4.68 volts. We get the sum of the other two. 2.34 volts. And 2.34 volts. So, we have already done that, and there is the case of the parallel assembly. Here we are checking that we have the same voltage across all three components. So at the power supply terminals we have 4.68 volts. Here 4.68. And here 4.68. So, what is the point of using, making a video with a regulated power supply, and not being satisfied with the one with the battery? I'll show you the difference by showing you this picture with the battery. So read here, it's 4.68 volts. Here is the picture with the battery. We had found 4.42 volts. That is to say that a battery, when it delivers a more intense current, has a lower voltage at its terminals. This drop in voltage is caused by the internal resistance of the battery, while the power supply is a regulated one. It is so called because whatever the current output, whatever the number of devices in parallel, it always has the same voltage at its terminals, equal to the open circuit voltage. That's it for this video.